Dr. Al Salihi from the Muthana University in Iraq. And Dr. Muthana has a PhD in equine internal medicine, but she's moving to camelids to report on a study of tuberculosis in camelids in Iraq. Uh, it should, yep, you're on. Um, that moves, that moves on, just press once, and the pointer is here. So it's up here, uh, Karina. Okay, very good morning for everyone. My presentation is uh, under title a Study of Tuberculosis in Camelides and the Muthana Government in Iraq. Uh, it's the presentation overview introduction, Camelides CB, what is the problem, materials and method, results and discussion, conclusion, and some questions if you want. Uh, introduction of the camels. Uh, camels is a common name for large humped, long necked even toyed ungulates compromised mammalian genus Camelus of the Camelidae family. The Camelides are not ruminant. They are obolygastric animals, but not a true ruminants, according to Fowler, uh, 1996. True ruminants have four compartment stomachs, whereas there are only three compartments in the camel stomach. Uh, estimated population of of camels in Iraq, around 67,000 camel in Iraq. The, great, uh, the greatest portion of this population presents in the middle, south, west part of country, and most of these animals are kept by pastorals and nomads, and they are used for meat and also for milk, and there is also a traditional use of whole milk they are using for the treatment of the diabetes patient. Uh, also, there is uh, some starting some camel races and also a growing export a trade. This is the map of uh, Iraq, and this is one of our visit to the deserts where there is the camel there, and this is the most areas where the camels is present. The most population is present in Samawa and Nasiriya. It's in Al Muthanna governance. And there is a little bit there. And also, there is a few population in Baghdad, the capital of Iraq. Kemali uh, TB, what is the problem? TB is a, compl uh, a complex infectious zoonotic disease of animals and humans. It is a chronic contagious granulomatous disease caused by mycobacterial species belonging to my mycobacterium tuberculosis complex. Have a wide uh, host range that complicated the epidemiology of this disease. Uh, previously, and this is very important notes, uh, there is a belief that camels are resistant to most diseases, but this, this is not the truth, because the camels out of reach of the veterinary service, that they are believed that it is resistance for the disease. So in recent years, camelides were not considered highly susceptible to tuberculosis, but in recent years, uh, an increased number of cases have been experienced in some countries. Both the New World camels, Lama, Alpica, and Velcona, and Old World camels, which is a bacterian two hump camel, and one hump camel dromedary are susceptible species to these pathogens. Although the existence of TB has been well documented in humans and most domestic animals, very little is known about the pathology and causes of camels, TB, and pastoral area in the world. Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium bovis and typical Mycobacterial such as Mycobacterium cancersi and Mycobacterium equi are all the causative agents of camel TB according to Keen et al. 2006 and Al-Mosalami uh, 1971. Camel TB has been reported in Egypt, Rafi 1992, and also in United Arab Emirates, Werner Kidney 2002, and Kini et al. 2006. In Pakistan also was recorded in camels and also in Australia. In Iraq, no previous reported indicated the existence of camel TB. Aim of these studies, uh, the present study therefore was intended to focus on the pathology of camel TB and identify the causative agents using micro molecular tools. Uh, materials and methods, we did two studies. The first study is a preliminary studies, and according to the request of one owner of the camels, uh, 
Uh, according to request of the owner of one camel, the clinical examination one does, uh, was done for a herd of camel at November 2014. A few camels were showed the following clinical signs, changing their behavior, anorexia, <coughs> coughing, respiratory distress, and this occurred due to, uh, due to some uh, poor condition of the body condition of the camels. We did the uh, comparative tuberculin test for 10 suspected camels, and the thickness of the skin was measured immediately before and 72 hours after the, doing the uh, tuberculin test. Uh, as a positive result is indicated by an increase in the skin uh, thickness at the bovine size that is greater than the increase in the avian size. And actually, in this, uh, at this point, we stopped this study because the owner was conflict with us because after the positive results, and we stopped this uh, uh, study. That's why we move another choice. The, another option for our studies is this is the tuberculin test. We did uh, the tuberculin test in, the, uh, in this area, and we measured the thickness. And uh, we moved to the second studies. Animal studies, uh, cross-sectional studies, was conducted on 50 apparently healthy camels, male uh, 25 and female 25 slaughterhouse in Al Muthanna Epitor, uh, along years uh, uh, 2015. Uh, for each animal, post-mortem examination was uh, done for each animal, and uh, mandibular retropharyngeal lymph nodes and the suspected lesion on both left and right lungs were sectioned inspected and palpated carefully. Whenever gross lesions suggestive of TB were detected in any of the tissue, the tissue was classified as having lesion. Affected tissue were, we collected the affected tissue and we fixed it in 10 persons formalin solution, buffer formalin solution, and routinely processed for histopathological evaluation. And we sectioned the uh, formalin, uh, after uh, histopathological processing, we sectioned the tissue. And then a direct smear also was done, were done, were made from uh, scraping of the cut surface of a 24 suspected tuberculous lesion and stain with acid pass stain or xenosin stains. Uh, then mycobacterial isolation, we cultured the, uh, the tissue on the Lohenstein uh, Jensen media on duplicate slants on enriched with sodium pyruvate and the other enriched with glycerol. Culture were incubated at 37 centigrade for eight to 12 weeks with weekly observation for growth colonies. And mycobacterial genus typing, we <coughs> sent it for South Korea for uh, uh, PCR studies. And then uh, this is the primer they use for uh, uh, using for PCR. And now we have the results for the preliminary studies results of tuberculin test of total 10 examined suspected animals by the single intradermal uh, comparative uh, tuberculin test, four animals was positive, 40% of them were positive to bovine tuberculosis. Out of these four positive cases, there were three females, 75%, and one male, 25%. All positive animals revealed an increase in the thickness, more than four uh, mm, and uh, greater than the avian PPD at the bovine sites. The results of tuberculosis give a positive results and indication to proceed to another survey on the camels that slaughter in the apitory to study the actual situation of tuberculosis in camelides in the country. And the results of apitory service, the distribution of lesion and the severity of the disease were established in 24 camels with suspension lesion. On the basis of cross pathology, the prevalence of camel TB was 48%. And the TB lesions were seen in the lymph nodes and lungs to, uh, loops of the examined animals. This is the, the tubercle, and this is the lesion of the suspected lesion of the TB. And the preliminary examination of the tissue uh, with the xenal stains show uh, red colloidal or bacillary cells occurring singly or in clumps. Histopathological changes, lung and lymph nodes were most frequently affected in all affected camels. Lung section revealed typical extensive caseous, caseonecrotic lesion. Most cases affected camels showed tubercles and characterized histologically by granuloma formation and with infiltration of epithelioid microphages. 
and also lymphocytes, plasma cells, and neutrophils, central caseous necrosis, and some calcification we've seen it in some uh, cases. Only few giant cells were seen in the, some sections. The Nelson staining of the section revealed variable with some sections revealing a few acid fast bacilli. Uh, this is the uh, low power of uh, histopathology, showing the, uh, this is the area of uh, uh, connective tissue surrounding the lesion. And, uh, this is high magnification showing the epithelioid cells and only few uh, giant cells there are some here. And also the last section is the uh, fully calcification of the fully calcification of the lesion. For the microbacteriological uh, 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 results, the mycobacterial growth was observed in 50 persons, 12 of 24 of the samples collected from camels with the grossly suspension TB. Uh, colonies uh, were dry, rough, uh, raised, irregular with wrinkled surface. They were creamy white initially, becoming yellowish or puffy colored on uh, further uh, incubation. This is the molecular characterization of the isolates. And uh, two of these isolates were confirmed to be members of mycobacterium tuberculosis complex, and none of the isolates were mycobacterium avium complex. Uh, discussion and conclusion. Uh, there is a large biosity of information on the pathology and the causative agents of TB in camels. Uh, of pastoral region in the country. Therefore, inspection of pathology of camel's TB and identification of its causative agents is important to encourage the efforts in the control of the disease and reduce its risk of zoonosis to the pastoral community of Iraq. This is the first study confirmed camelides TB in Iraq by clinical and laboratory approach. And the prevalence of camel's TB recorded by the present study is higher to the previous study in United Arab Emirates and also in Egypt. The results of tuberculin tests approved that the TB was observed more frequently observed in she camels than in he camels. And also in conclusion, this is the preliminary studies and the author hence recommends further future studies to identify on camels in Iraq which would be useful towards the efforts made to control TB in camels. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Great. We have time for several questions, if there are any from the audience. Yes, there's a lady here, please. Um, I would be interested to know uh, but by the way, thank you for this great speech. Uh, is there any information regarding the incidence of tuberculosis in the human population in the Iraq? Actually, the, according to WHO, uh, Iraq had high, uh, high incidence of uh, TB, especially after the Iraqi sanction and after the war. And uh, there is a lot of people that are suffering from TB now. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay. As a gentleman at the back. Do, do the cameras show any indication that the, that the TB lesion is, is being encapsulated, or is there any calcification in the lesion? The, 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 these are things that seem to occur in, in other animals and in cattle in particular. Um, just, uh, uh, do you mean in camels or in other animals, in bovine or in sheep? No, or? In, in camels. In camels, yes. Uh, actually, in this study, we, we, we did find some lesion it's calcified. And some lesion it's still uh, not calcified. So we, we find variability in the, in the, in the lesion. Yeah, there's a question here. Sorry, someone's stretching at the back. I thought they were raising their hand. Could I ask, um, you mentioned there is a high prevalence of or high incidence of TB in humans in Iraq. Is that thought to come from cattle or from, from camels in particular? Which species is thought to be the major origin of TB in humans? I think it's from uh, bovine, coming from, from bovine. Yeah. It's from yeah. bovine. 
because the camels is out of reach of yes. the people. Yeah. But uh, it's the incidence, I think, in pastoral and nomad peoples is high in... Uh, yeah. Good, in uh, what, and what there's camels? a gentleman. Yes, I must say, I've seen in, in Africa, but also in Europe, um, um, tuberculosis coming from human infecting animals and humans being the reservoir. Um, it, it is also true in zoos in, in Europe where, where, for example, monkeys are protected from humans by windows so, so that monkeys are not infected by tuberculosis or, or other diseases from humans. It, it happens that, that the source is occasionally not, 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 not the animals, but the human infecting the animals. And, and this is also important to, to look at. Uh, actually, I do agree with you, because uh, uh, for camels, I, I thought the human is the source of infection for these camels. Not the, the camels, uh, but uh, because it's distributed, that's why we, we don't know. That's why we have to investigate more and more. To, uh, but I do agree with you, the humans is the source of infection for camels, for these camels. Great. If, well, if there are no final questions, thank you very much for attending this first session. Thank you, Dr. Sanderson. <laughs>